Hello, welcome back to the Hong Kong Greek Gastronomy and Diet Festival. I remember it correct, right? Okay, <laughs> fantastic. Today we've got a, a very, very good friend, George Hadzopoulos, uh, who is the executive uh, chef of Aldemar Hotel Chain. Aldemar has got six hotels, if I remember well, and uh, my good friend Alexandros uh, Agelopoulos <coughs> is, uh, is the owner of Aldemar. And with George, we're going a long way back because uh, probably 12, 15 years ago, they started uh, the Sibosio. And the Sibosio was an initiative when Greece was going through crisis to go around in Europe and the main markets of Greece and cook with a lot of people and engage them in the Greek gastronomy and the Greek uh, philosophy of eating. And George has been absolutely instrumental in developing that with um, the support of Alexandros and Mandy, who is the marketing manager, uh, and unfortunately, um, Yanis Rodokanakis, someone, uh, a, a very fantastic chef who is no longer with us. He died uh, probably a year ago, uh, very suddenly, very, very young. But you'll see Yanis on the video later on when we will be playing. So. Um, it's fantastic to have you with us, George, and uh, to have the opportunity to talk to you. I'm here with two great colleagues, um, Chef Simon, and uh, Simon is uh, our executive chef, and she's teaching all, all the students downstairs uh, how to be in the kitchen and all of these great things. Mm -hmm. Simon is very, very experienced in the kitchen, and she's always fun to see her cooking and, and, and training mm -hmm. ourselves. And on this side, I've got Jonathan, uh, who is a very good friend and colleague, who is instructor on F&B uh, management, and he's, he has uh, developed several concepts, and he's an expert on coffee. And today we had a fantastic uh, coffee experience with him, roasting coffee. You'll see a video in a few days. So... Greek coffee. This is what I ask. I ask whether he's roasting coffee, and what you do with us afterwards is... I ask this question because we can actually uh, grade uh, grain his his coffee. Yeah, you can grind it. Yeah, and, and then you can make it into a Greek method of extraction. Mm. So you Greek can make Greek, yes, Greek, yes. Greek coffee. Yeah. Mm. So now, now <laughs> you got me into this idea, and, and Jonathan confirmed this morning, and this is exactly Sorry, what he's going to do. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Greek coffee to, to be, in to Hong be Kong. Continued, yeah. <laughs> but now. Yep. So, so I'd like to start off just uh, basically picking your brain a little bit about why you became a chef. Uh, the basic uh, reason, and I think the, the only reason, it was my mom. Okay, okay. <laughs> please, please expand uh, a little bit more. What, why, why so? Was she... Because uh, when I was young, and uh, since I remember myself, uh, I remember my mom to cook uh, for us uh, at home. And uh, the way it was very, uh, how can I say it? Very exciting for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when uh, we had the birthday with my sister, my mom uh, used to prepare a, a huge buffet okay. for okay. Uh, our friends in, 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 at home. So uh, crocodiles with bread, Meatballs in uh, sticks, yeah. uh, a lot of salads, meat, uh, fish, uh, ev everything, everything. And uh, year after year, uh, after uh, graduate uh, the school, I told her, I told her straight that I want to continue with food. Yeah, I want to to go to the army. So after the army, have all the future to. To make focus to the food. That that's great. So so your mom got you into into cooking, uh, motivated yes. you to cook. Did you ever All have these, any times? Uh, that, was... Did you did you ever have any oh, times oh. where maybe you um, needed more motivation afterwards? Where so that was your initial interest to becoming a chef, and then sustaining and being continuously motivated. Is that? Did you have any other influences? Of course. Or? Uh, a very good thing uh, my parents uh, uh, teach me yeah. from a really young uh, age. It was uh, how to 
to make money, to how to, yeah. to, to, to work. Yeah. So they sent me, uh, I'm from Thessaloniki, yeah. and uh, there is, uh, it's a village who lives from uh, the sea. Okay. So there are so many tavernas with fresh fish. Mm. I started to work uh, every year in a separate, in a different uh, taverna of, uh, from the village, in the kitchen, of course, and uh, sometimes outside mm -hmm. for service. Mm. Uh, all this thing made me uh, feel very comfortable to speak with the people, mm. to make, uh, to take the orders from them, and uh, after go inside the kitchen and see the cook uh, how to prepare the whole meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was very exciting for me. Mm -hmm. Very, very exciting for yeah. me. Because it was from the beginning yeah. when the, the guest was in the uh, restaurant yeah. uh, till the, the time I, we used to say goodbye, thank you very much, uh, see you again. Yeah, yeah. So you see the whole process was, and you see the satisfaction of the... Exactly, of the exactly. Yeah. All this process, it was very important important, very important for me, and uh, a, a, a very big reason to uh, be a part of hospitality. Mm. And that shows, George, on the symposium, because you're not only cooking, you're not only instructing people, but you make sure that everybody's having fun, uh, and exactly. it's part of the experience. We, we try, the video, yeah, yeah. How, okay. how that happens. We try not only to to give the recipes to the people uh, who are the, our guests, uh, who try to, to pass our culture, the Greek culture. Mm. Uh, we discuss with them a lot of things, a lot of, uh, uh, they, they ask a lot of things mm -hmm. during the culinary event. And uh, we discuss, this is the, the meaning of Symposio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a yeah, big yeah. company yeah. around the table, yeah. So we eat and we drink a lot yeah. uh, and discuss a few, a few things. Yeah. So, so that, that video kind of, I guess, shows a lot of the enjoyment of why you actually became a chef and wanted to be a chef? Absolutely. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Before I pass the question to, to Simone, uh, you are very unusual, uh, George, because you have stayed in the same company for how many years? 10, 15 years? 20, 20. 24. 24. 24 years. Wow. Okay. Wow. Normally, a Greek chef, mm. and especially in a seasonal hotel, mm. they'll do two or three seasons maximum, and then they yes. move on. Mm. Uh, so I like the opportunity to actually give you the opportunity to say why you've stayed for 24 <laughs> years in, in Aldemar. Uh, I started in Aldemar uh, in um, 1998 as a student. Mm -hmm. I made my first practice uh, in uh, Knossos Royal, the first hotel, and uh, the second hotel I moved uh, to the Royal Mare, the next one. Uh, so year after year, I became a, a chef uh, first in uh, the à la carte restaurant of the hotel. If the climate is good, if the environment inside the, the hotel the people, the the owner, of course, eh? Mr. Agelopoulos uh, is, uh, okay, let's don't, uh, because I'm not uh, very fair, I'm, I feel him, Dimitri, you know, uh, like a big brother. It's a teacher, big brother, Mr. Uh, Nikos Angelopoulos, mm -hmm. it's a uh, father, mm -hmm. our father. The founder. My executive chef, uh, Mr. Vangelos Agalu, I feel him uh, like my second father. He's my culinary father, mm. let's say. And uh, the treatment inside the hotel was amazing. I learned a lot of things. I use a lot of uh, ingredients in all my career inside the hotel. And I feel uh, so lucky because I saw a lot of things. And uh, now is the 11th or 12th year 
that we travel around Europe. Mm. And uh, honestly, I never thought, I never had it in my mind, this opportunity mm -hmm. Andemar gave me mm -hmm. to show my dream abroad. You know, when we started this um, Greek gastronomy festival, my first thing, in, you remember in September, I sent you a message and I said, I would like you to come yes. to Hong Kong and we'll do symposium mm -hmm. in Hong Kong. And I sent a message to, to the boss, to Alex, and I said, I'd like George to come over. And he said, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> we did, little we knew that because of COVID we couldn't travel, mm. but Simon here yes, is quite yes. keen to have you here and do a Greek symposium <laughs> as soon as the, the conditions allow it. It's uh, with my pleasure, Dimitri, you know. Tell me tomorrow to travel to Hong Kong and uh, I'll be there. <laughs> but George, it's so nice to see that, um, that throughout all of these sort of years with your sort of cooking journey that you still have such a fond passion for, for what you do. Um, I think if I reflect on your situation and mine, um, to be honest, I would never change it. I love being in the kitchen. Um, I think it's yes. a really tough road. I think it's a really yes. challenging area. Um, I think being a girl is also somewhat a little difficult. Um, but I think that, uh, yeah, I think inspiration comes from within. I think having beautiful produce like you guys do have in Greece um, is a really good foundation mm -hmm. for that. Um, I think in Australia also similar. We have that same sort of passion, yes, you know. Yes. And mm -hmm. um, so, what what would you say would have been the hardest thing to teach the the people in your symposium um, about Greek food and their understanding of what is Greek food to you and to a country? Okay, uh, let's say that uh, every year we create a, a different menu, a Greek menu, and we try to pass through our menu traditional habits mm. of Greek uh, food, of Greek uh, cooking style. Mm -hmm. Okay, so every year the concept is different. We present the Uzeri, which uh, is uh, all the, the thing around Uzo, around Raki, which nice. are uh, uh, Chipudia, let's say Chipudia, uh, our traditional drinks. Mm -hmm. Uh, with Uzo, we used to, to eat uh, mezedes, okay? Mezedes are raw, are cooked, are uh, cold, are hot. So all these things are uh, every year, it's uh, different. And we discussed also, instead of uh, the menu and uh, to eat, but the the, the most important thing is that uh, all the event is interactive. Mm -hmm. They cook with us. Mm -hmm. We give them gloves, hats, aprons, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we do it with them. They cook. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They cook. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why we rent uh, studios, mm -hmm. cooking studios, so they can use the tools, they can use the, the fire and uh, cook uh, the menu. Mm -hmm. The menu is uh, about three courses, a starter, a main course, and a dessert. Mm -hmm. No special techniques, mm. simple things. Yeah. And we try uh, through the menu to, to give them traditional products every day during the winter time and the symposium period. With uh, a company, we send local and traditional products from Creta, from Peloponnese, from Rhodos, all around uh, Greece, let's say. Uh, uh, the products uh, goes to the stations, mm -hmm. goes to the cooking studios. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a very big thing, all this. Uh, the region of Creta helps, the region of Peloponnese helps, of course, uh, of, uh, for this uh, gastronomic uh, event. It's a very big thing. And uh, through the, these events, uh, we try to make them uh, see different products from Greece, mm -hmm. all around Greece. Mm -hmm. This is uh, 
the cheese. This is, of course, the Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. This is the wine. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had, we have all these uh, ingredients in different style in our menus every year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Angelopoulos say the concept this year is wine and olive oil. Wow. So we have a sponsor for uh, olive oil, a sponsor or two or three or sponsors for a uh, uh, wine, white or red, mm -hmm. uh, beer was a drink uh, five years before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Greek beer, Nisos, from uh, Greek islands, which was perfect beer for me, mm -hmm. for my taste. Mm -hmm. uh, and we try to, to use its recipe, mm -hmm. more Greek ingredients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The concept for uh, 20 and 21, and uh, this was especially for Yanis, uh, was uh, aromatics, mm -hmm. Greek herbs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it seems there's a lot of like, it's a lot about the, the locations, the produce. Yeah, which is, which is super beautiful. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I, and I also... this, is, this is the point, this mm. is the point. Yeah. This is the point, to use different kind of uh, products. I think for people to understand uh, what the symposium is, mm. it takes, what, three months, two and a half months, that you're going uh, to about, yes, yes. you're wow. going to yes. 30 or 40 different cities mm. all over Europe. Exactly. Mm. And the logistics mm -hmm. of it is that products are going to meet them where they're going. Ah. Okay. Ah, so it follows. Okay. So they're going okay. to Munich, for okay. example. Okay. Then okay. they're going, the next day they're going to set in Frankfurt, and uh -huh. then the next day we're going to Berlin. Wow, wow. And they keep moving. Full power. So wow. the, the, the team of chefs yes. is going between places, oh. and the logistics are sent directly to location wow. of a, a journey of about, is that three months, George? How long does it take? Yes, yes. Almost three months, because we have also Russia, Ukraine. Yeah, so they are taking and basically... And we, we are a team chefs uh, uh, three. Mm. Wow. Six okay. chefs plus uh, the sales department the, from the hotel, the support from the hotel. Wow. So logistically, it's huge it's because huge. all the ingredients need to meet them in different yeah. places. And, so uh, you know, if you follow yes. George yes. on Facebook in different places, he, you kind of, and they have a fantastic team and we've lost Yanis and, like, and nobody can actually really... Uh, uh, comprehend that but mm. what's happening is that they they they've got Mandy who is the marketing uh the marketing lady and they are just moving from one place to another and the most important thing is that how much fun they had mm. they had they've got so much fun I was lucky <laughs> enough to be in in some of the symposium mm. with them and they they had creating an incredible atmosphere this is this is hospitality right this is this is one of the Simon it's an amazing experience <laughs> it's an amazing experience oh, every day of the week we travel in a different uh, city of a country. Uh, Italy is about uh, two weeks. Mm. Mm. See. So imagine that uh, it's a road trip in Italy. We have a car, we have a, a driver, a special driver because it's not only a driver, it's a sous chef, it's a driver, it's uh, everything. Multitasking. Uh, it helps us, <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, Multi-tool, multi-tool, yeah. let's say. <laughs> And uh, you have to to be a part in a different kitchen every day in five ten minutes to be in the kitchen to to know the place to know the tools to know the people who are there and host you and the only thing uh, that we order to the chef of the uh, cooking studio is the fresh ingredients wow. tomatoes cucumbers and stuff like this all the the other comes from Greece, mm -hmm. as uh, Dimitris uh, said. It's, I think it's amazing. It's amazing. Like, yeah, I think also for you guys, like I can only tap into Australian culture, but, um, you know, I teach the students downstairs, you know, and I think there's such a beauty in that you guys are, you know, sort of projecting the Greek culture, the Greek traditions, you know, from yes. years gone by, and it's still something that's not mm -hmm. lost, you know, and I feel 
there's a lot of yes, food yes. that you need to keep in the world, whether it was made, you know, 300 years ago, 200 years ago, but it's all based on those good products. And I think yes, for yes. introducing that to different people, I think would be amazing. Logistically, a very big challenge, right? But yeah, it would be one. It's a, it's a very big challenge. It's a very big challenge because a concept was ancient Greek mm-hmm. uh, food. Okay. Yeah. And then there was no tomatoes, no uh, aubergines, no a lot of uh, ingredients that yes. we have uh, here uh, plenty. Yes. And uh, we have to create a menu with uh, five ingredients. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have to create recipes with this, those five ingredients for the starter, for the main course, also for the dessert. Mm. It's difficult for us because... It has to do with uh, what the studio has for our needs. Uh, if the concept goes, uh, feels, uh, let's say, uh, it's going to be okay, or it's strange for the Europeans, mm-hmm. it's strange for the Italians, it's strange for the French people. Uh, you know that the, every country has his own, uh, its own uh, culture. And it, we have to to also mix and match our cultures sometimes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, some uh, countries, they don't uh, like so much the fish. Yeah. They eat uh, only meat or mm-hmm. most mm-hmm. meat. Uh, they don't eat uh, pork. They don't eat uh, lamb. We have to, to discuss with the, the chef's team uh, all these things. And uh, the Greek part with the, all the, uh, the thing, it's uh, it, enormous. Enormous. <laughs> to, mm. it, it, it's enormous because uh, uh, we, we want all the participants uh, after... Uh, they take the magazine that we gave them uh, as a souvenir after the, the event mm-hmm. with all the recipes inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, they can cook it uh, at home That's so easily. Awesome. This is the point. Yeah. This is the point. To go to a supermarket, uh, found the Greek uh, ingredients mm-hmm. and cook the recipes. Yeah. That's a this huge is the point. satisfaction, right, to, to get that. And I think yes. having that sort of, you know, situation where you're in the kitchen and you have to adapt or change, I think that's part of our culture as, as, as in being chefs. Yes. You know, I think always yes, yes, we're yes. recreating mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. changing, adapting, and I think, you know, that's the beauty um, of our industry, I guess. And we don't go starving, right? We always get to eat something good. <laughs> of course. We chose a good course. industry. <laughs> So, George, uh, Hong Kong is quite a tricky market. Um, I think mm-hmm. the expectations of a lot of people here, um, they have certain ideas, certain things that they expect, um, I guess, from different sort of culinary regions of the world. Um, what would mm-hmm. be your sort of recommendation of something that you would love to bring to showcase to the Hong Kong people? Um, what would be on the top of your list? Because it is the first time I, I have to ask in this question because Hong Kong and China is far away from here. Eh? It sure is. <laughs> and uh, uh, I have first to see and uh, read some things about the culture, mm-hmm. first of all. Mm-hmm. Uh, cheese, our rice. Mm. Uh, our beans, the Greek beans, the Greek rice, mm-hmm. to uh, prepare recipes close to the culture of uh, people there. Mm. Uh, with uh, Greek ingredients, uh, not uh, so heavy yeah. for the first time. Yeah. Not so heavy. We also have here the last 10, 15 years, let's say, uh, the vegetables higher mm-hmm, mm-hmm. than the previous years. Uh, don't forget the, the Cretan diet. Mm. Yes. The old Mediterranean diet. Uh, because, as I, I said before, uh, in ancient uh, Greece, we didn't have uh, a lot of uh, ingredients. 
Uh, they used to eat uh, beans, chickpeas, mm. a lot, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. dry figs. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, they they used... mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, instead of melasas, yeah. uh, melasa, mm-hmm. in, uh, in Greece we have uh, petimesi, which is the, the reduction of the grapes uh, juice. Ah, okay, uh, okay, okay. Which yeah. is it, uh, something very, very tasty, Simon. Mm. Mm. You can uh, put it everywhere as it is. Mm. Wow. Okay. It's a pure product uh-huh. in, a, in a starter, as a sauce, in a salad, uh, in a main mm. course. Mm-hmm. Meat, mm-hmm. also fish. If you have a special fish and you have to, to mix it somehow with great ingredients, petit mm-hmm. uh, it's uh, with seafood. Mm. Mm-hmm. So with bring seafood, it together. It's, mm-hmm. Yes, it's mm-hmm. amazing. A lot of vegetables. Uh, we have some nagathi in Creta, mm-hmm. which is, uh, you know, the name, I think it's uh, spiny chicory. chicory. It's a green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sp- mm-hmm. Spiny chicory. Spiny it's chicory. Uh, the kind. Oh, okay, it's, okay. Uh, it's like baby rocket. Yeah. Okay. But very bit- bitter. Mm. It's bitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Raw as a salad. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Raw as a salad. Raw as a salad. Stamnagathi with uh, vinaigrette. Mm. It's amazing. Mm. It's a medicine. Stamnagathi. It's a medicine. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, if we want to mix rice with vegetables, of course, yemista. It's a great uh, food. Mm-hmm. Uh, Salad, I, th- I think a, a good salad. It's uh, with uh, chickpeas, beans, yellow split uh, peas, mm-hmm. green peas, mm-hmm. all these things with seafood, shrimps, mm-hmm. and uh, fruity vinaigrette. Mm. Yeah. Let's say mango. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can use. Uh, these things I think they can identify with. So I think playing with ingredients that they're familiar um, would sort of yes. get them drawn drawn in a little bit. And then exactly. once they sort of start to feel confident, then I think you could open a bigger box of, you know, surprises for yes. them. But I yes. definitely think some yes. of those things are fantastic. So, yeah. So perfect, perfect. I, I might like yes. to, to follow up just with a question about uh, where do you see the, the evolution of Greek cuisine going? What do you think the next kind of interesting areas are going to be? Uh, look, Jonathan, I have to say that uh, the past uh, five years, from the mm. past five years, uh, if we put out the coronavirus uh, mm. years, mm. let's say 10 years, because the past uh, two years, it's not only difficult, it's something that we have to... Uh, forget from our lives. Mm. It's my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's... Greek uh, gastronomy abroad, it's going uh, up and up yeah. and up every year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dimitris knows better than me that uh, in London, let's say, there are uh, a lot of Greek. Uh, Restaurants mm. who promote and give uh, to the people there a lot of uh, good Greek recipes with a lot of Greek good ingredients. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. there are uh, Greek stores there. Yeah, with uh, Greek products all around Greece. Yeah, mm. and uh, the locals there have the opportunity to go and buy and. Uh, feel and taste the Greek culture. Right. Uh, this is not only in uh, London, it's uh, in Berlin. Yeah. I, I told you, I tell you all about places I know and yeah. uh, I work there with people and uh, I know that I can go there, buy the Greek things and fix a Greek menu uh, straight from the beginning, mm. which is the most important thing yeah. From the for the Greek uh, gastronomy, for the Greek culture, for the Greek products. Yeah. Uh, and as I know, the people loves it. Yeah. 
So, so would you say the, the, the accessibility feedback. maybe of all these these produce items from different areas of Greece may be pushing, I guess, the culinary scene of people now to This create. is the, the most, I yeah. think, difficult thing to, yeah. to find, to find the outside the Greek products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The import and export of the products, yeah. it's, uh, diff it was difficult, but uh, nowadays, I think Even more so. it, uh, the things are more easier. Yeah. Uh, also for the wine. Yeah. Also for the drinks, mm -hmm. the Greek drinks. Mm -hmm. I speak with uh, friends also in Australia. Mm. I have a, I have a cousin in Melbourne. <laughs> I was going to say Melbourne, it of course. Melbourne. All Greek. <laughs> <laughs> People have a cousin in Melbourne. I've, I've never been in Australia. I've never been in Australia. I it's a place I would like to to go and visit. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think. Uh, Yes, it's going. It's grow. It's growing. Greek gastronomy mm. abroad. It's growing and mm. growing year after year. Mm. Uh, the future is uh, very, very good. Yeah. yeah. If we avoid the coronavirus and we start to traveling yeah. again, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the new generation of chefs uh, all around Greece, we have ideas. Yeah. And uh, we want to show our culture yeah. outside of Greece. Yeah. If, if, I, if I wrap up and just say, what would be three things that you would tell the next generation of aspiring chefs to have or do, what would those three things be? Uh, look, uh, traditional. Yeah. Tradition mm -hmm. is tradition. the first. Agree. Yeah. Agree. Uh, simplicity. Yeah, okay, okay. simplicity. Yeah. yeah. Keep yeah. it simple. Tradition, simplicity, because we have to understand what to eat. Okay, the techniques are good. Yeah. Uh, all the tools that we use uh, now, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, we have to, and the respect yeah. Yeah. of the products yeah. is the third. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I have to cook uh, cauliflower. Uh, you have to taste cauliflower. Yeah. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Of course. Uh, if I had a good product, I have to give it to you as it is. Yeah. Cooked or raw. Mm. And uh, I have to show respect to the fish or to the meat or mm. to the vegetables. Mm. Because raw food is now a trend. Pesetarian, yeah. uh, uh, it's also a, a trend now. And uh, we can we can't uh, forget that uh, we have also the allergies, mm. gluten, mm. Yeah. lactose, yeah. absolutely. All these things yeah. are, uh, let's say, included to the respect of the products mm. and respect of our customer. Mm. Yeah, I I love how you say that. You know, respecting the vegetable for what it is and you using it for the beauty of that. And I think that. The yes. world has got so complicated with trying to make things different and reinvent things. I think going back to original roots is something that's really a very great area yes. that Greece can showcase to the world, actually. Simone, the, the point is, I, I live now in Greta. Uh, we have very tasty vegetables. Mm -hmm. What's the reason to kill them? Exactly, exactly, <laughs> eh? exactly. You have to come in Greece and mm. taste the Cretan tomato, mm. the Cretan cucumber, yeah. as it is, mm. and uh, to make your combination, mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. your thoughts, mm. yes. to feel and uh, say, uh, how is uh, an Australian tomato? Yes, yeah. yes. Well, Let's I don't see. know. I haven't tasted one for a while, actually. But <laughs> it's mostly been Chinese. So I think great products from Europe is something that people hear. Um, it, it changes their mindsets. I think they really understand mm -hmm. that this, wow, this is a tomato. Uh, this is a cucumber. Yes. This is not what I found in the yes. wet markets. And I think that's mm -hmm. what people then crave for. So I think simplicity and culture and tradition are such a beautiful combination. And it's very lost. Um you yes. come from a very old country, so Hong Kong, not so much history and culture and those things. I mean, I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm looking at that from a, you know, uh, 
from you guys having traditional roots that have been around for a long time and you still haven't gone past them. Um, you've kept yes. them there. And I think it's important to And we that. try now, the new generation of chef now, uh, we try to, to reborn recipes. Yes, mm. yes. To take uh, recipes from uh, my mother, my grandmother, yeah. Yeah. and uh, fix it with new yeah. uh, way and uh, give it to a customer something familiar. Mm -hmm. The comfort food. Yeah. That sort of brings memories. Reminds me vision. something of my mother. Exactly. Reminds me something of my exactly. grandmother. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's yes. just beautiful. Passion, yeah. right? That's the, yes. the word. Yeah, so totally. Passion and feeling. Absolutely. Passion and feeling. So good vegetables, passion, feeling, yes. tradition. Mm -hmm. A good yes. beer on the side. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some good some good olive oil. Beautiful. Thank you so much. So, George, yeah, thank you very much for your, your time. Um, I, might, I should thank you for I, the opportunity <laughs> you gave me to express myself. Yes. Thank you so much, George. That's fantastic to see you again. Mm. And uh, greetings to everybody, all the good friends back in Greece. I think these guys, they'd like to come to Greece and everybody will be <laughs> looking at you. I'll tell Tomorrow? you... Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, uh, <laughs> the best the best thing can happen to someone is to have some real Greek tomatoes with olive oil and a little bit of oregano mm. with a little bit yes. of, of, of Greek bread, uh, warm um, 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 grilled uh, bread. It's the best thing can happen to anybody. Oh. Hopefully we'll see you in Crete <laughs> very soon. Say hello to everybody and... Lovely thank to have you. Thank you very much again. Thank All you. Thank right. you. So nice. Thank you, George. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Oh